Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here, following up. This is uh, should be the video about cleaning and detailing the new Porsche Boxster. So there it is as it sits in all its glory. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it first. Um, I have a pressure washer, I have a foam cannon, uh, there's some car wash over there. Um, let me show you guys what's going on over there. So there's some car wash. And then I also have a microfiber washing mitt, okay? And then some drying towels, microfiber drying towels. Um, this is the foam cannon from Ryobi, who's the pre which is uh, the pressure washer, is made by Ryobi. Um, obviously, with using a pressure washer, uh, if you, you're not familiar with it, guys, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of how to do it and how not to do it. Obviously, you don't want to high pressure wash your car. Um, just don't do it. Uh, it's just used more uh, on a very, very low setting. So, um, but the car is filthy. So my goal is to wash it and then I'm going to clay bar it. Uh, you can see there, it's just, it's just dirty. Um, and then I'm going to compound it and then I'm going to polish and wax it. I'm gonna do all this by hand. No, I do not have a, uh, a, a power tool that I'm going to be using. I know a lot of people use, you know, uh, uh, a power tool for the compounding and polishing and all that. I don't have that, so I'm gonna do it all by hand. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, my goal is to make the color pop. Uh, I want it to be glossy, I want it to be shiny. So, and just overall have a clean look. So we'll see. All right, I'll come back at you guys in a little. All right, guys, she is washed, mostly dried. I didn't bother drying the windshields. Basically just dried the paint with these things. Um, I noticed when I was washing the car with the microfiber mitt and when I was drying it with the drying towels um, that there was a lot of drag. Uh, it felt heavy, if that makes sense. Like I'm it's not just smooth as glass. So I'm hoping that the clay bar, the compound, the polish, the wax, obviously will take care of that. Um, here, let you guys hear real quick. This is just the back here. So you guys hear, there's a little bit of sound there, okay? And then there's still water spots you guys can see, even though I'm drying it, right? Still water spots. Um, the water spots aren't such a big deal simply because I'm going to clay bar it, like I said, and then compound and polish and wax. So, all right, on to the next step. All right, guys, getting ready to clay the car. I got this clay kit from Meguiar's. Uh, comes with detailer spray, which is basically just a lubricant for the clay. Yes, you need a lubricant for the clay. Um, comes with a box with two clay bars in it and comes with a microfiber towel. Now, I already have my own microfiber towels right there, um, but uh, I'm going to use the one that they give me just to see. It doesn't feel as soft as mine, um, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. We're going to see how it works. All right. So there she is in all her glory. She is washed. And now it is time for clay bar. Now, when you do the clay bar, same thing with compound polish. Um, I've heard that it's really good to just do little sections. Good thing is this car has a lot of lines and breakups in the body um, panels and all. So I'm going to use that as sort of a guide and just do section by section. All right. Be back with you guys later. All right, guys, the car is clay barred. Um, uh, so far, I've washed it and I've clay barred it. Next is compound. Now, I definitely can tell the difference from the clay bar. Not in the shine of it, not in the quality of the paint, not in reduction of scratches. That's not what clay bar does. Clay bar simply makes it smooth like glass. And that's exactly what it is. It is smooth, guys. Um, when I was taking the clay bar over certain areas, especially the hood, the hood was the dirtiest. I thought the front bumper would be the dirtiest, but it wasn't. It was the hood. When I was taking that clay bar over the hood, you could just, and you could just feel the resistance. And then once I got 
to where it removed all the contaminants on top. Now it's just smooth as glass. It is, it is nice. Um, I highly, highly recommend uh, using a clay bar. Remember, you wash, then you clay bar before compounder polish or wax. Now, the next step is compound. So let me go ahead and get that. Uh, where is it? Nope, that's not it. I bet it's in my other car. All right, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's the compound. I debated whether or not to do compound. Um, I know compound is an abrasive. Actually, everything's an abrasive. Um, I know a lot of guys, professionals, use the uh, power tools with that, uh, a power, you know, uh, compounder, if you want to call it that, or a comp uh, power detailer uh, tool, and I don't have that. Um, but I decided to give it a shot um, it does cut down a little bit on the clear coat. So you got to be aware of that based on what I've, uh, been reading and studying. Um, so it says right here for use by hand. So it's perfectly usable by hand to Dismit dispense a small amount onto a foam applicator pad or a small clean Terry towel. Um, I am choosing to go with a foam pad. Now these things are cheap, obviously, but, um, what's nice is, this one is uh, for polishes and cleaners, and then the bottom one is for uh, glazes and sealants. So obviously I'll be using this pink one up here. Um, I know when they do it by, uh, by the machine that it always has a foam applicator pad, not a terry towel. So I figured I would give this a shot. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with the compound. I'm not going to sit there and buff one area for like 20 minutes. Uh, just not going to happen. Um, I'm simply going to do it in a light coat, uh, you know, working little sections at a time, and we'll see what happens with it. Um, and then after that, I got this. So Meguiar's, let's see, it says it cleans, polishes, and protects in one easy step. So I could have got a separate polish and a separate wax, but I decided to go with this. Um, I've heard real good reviews about this, so we'll see. We'll go from there. Be back at you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I just did a quick section of the compound. I actually put down a piece of tape and pulled it up so you guys can see the difference. So there's the line right there. You can very, you can see it very clearly, okay? Uh, this side was compounded, that side was not. And you can see all the little swirl marks and scratches in here. It's just smooth. Now, you might be saying, well, that looks richer in color than this. Yes, it does because this was compounded, it wasn't polished, it wasn't waxed. So keep that in mind when you're using this. But I can already tell a difference, and all I used was this little thing, doing the wax on, wax off. Actually, I waxed on with this, and I waxed off with that. Not really wax, but compound. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna do the whole car, be back at you guys later. All right, guys. She is compounded. Uh, the compound took a while. Um, it was tiring. Uh, my back hurts. <laughs> um, just because it's such a low car, you think because it's such a small car, it'll be quick. The clay barring went quick. Washing went quick. Compounding did not. And honestly, I could have spent more time compounding, especially if I had one of the machines and really got in there and dug in each spot. Um, I did not do that. I spent uh, you know, probably a good five to 10 minutes in each section. And then I moved on. Um, so it did take me a good while. Um, once I was done with the compounding, so the compound said to use it, right? So I put it on with this, um, and then wipe it off. So I wiped it off with this. Look at that. You guys see that? You still see all the dirt. That's after washing and claying still getting stuff off of the car. Um, so, but after that, I did the whole car and I still noticed hazing. There was a good bit of haze still on the car. So I took a clean microfiber towel and wiped down the entire car just to get rid of some of that haze before I polish and wax. Um, speaking of polish and wax, I think I showed you guys this earlier, but just in case, this is what I'm using. Yes, I know there's, you know, everybody has their pick for what they want to use. I saw this. I've actually seen people use this before. Um, I feel comfortable with this. 
and uh, I think it'll do what I want it to do. Keep in mind, no, this is not a show car, okay? Um, this is my weekend toy that I want to look good. That's it. Um, eventually in the future, I might have a professional detailer uh, do a paint correction or even, you know, just spruce it up. Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but for right now, this is going to do what I want it to do. So, all right, on to polishing and waxing. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, the waxing is done, or shall I say the polishing slash waxing, because I used at Meguiar's all-in-one clean polishes and protects. So, it definitely made the color pop more. I hope that the video is going to pick this up. Um, you can see it is a rich dark blue. I believe the color is called a midnight blue. Get up here in the sunlight. The sunlight was showing it real good a second ago. And of course the sun is behind the clouds now. Anyway, there you go. You guys can see nice, shiny, great reflection on it. You guys can see that. It had nowhere near that when I bought it, much less when I started this video. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Clay bar. Oh, I'm sorry. Wash first, then clay bar, then I compound, then I did the polish slash wax. And it is beautiful oh there we go there's some sunlight coming out now look at that blue oh i love it i love it and what's weird is this car uh just a little on the color real quick it looks black from certain angles like right there it looks black right and right here it looks like it could be a black car in fact when i saw it online when i was looking i thought it was black and i didn't want a black car um but it said blue in the description so i clicked on the thumbnail and lo and behold it's blue it's just a midnight blue just a very dark very dark blue if you guys heard that that was my phone ringing anyway um but yeah guys beautiful car all right, till next time, you guys stay safe. God bless America.